Big Bad Toy Store is getting their Dragon Ball Super Broly figure arts in stock. Get them at the link in the description down below. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, Collector. Steven here once again with another Dragon Ball figure arts unboxing for you. And today, as you can see right in front of you, we have yet another rendition of the Prince of All Saiyans. We have the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta from Dragon Ball Super Broly right here, just released. This thing is looking pretty awesome. So again, this is from his appearance in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. So even though his outfit is basically going to be the same as the armored Vegeta we all know and love from the mainline Dragon Ball Super anime and from later in Dragon Ball Z, uh, you know what? Yeah, they just changed up the colors a little bit. So yeah. Also, we have a newer version of the Super Saiyan blue form, where they uh, changed up the color for the hair and re-sculpted it. This is nice because this is the first time a lot of collectors have had the chance to get the Super Saiyan blue form outside of the questionably okay Resurrection F Vegeta sculpt they made a few years back, or the uh, demoniacal fit Super Saiyan blue head sculpt kit that was released alongside the Goku one. It was like a two-pack. And then in this one, we also get a Super Saiyan God head sculpt. So this is kind of like a two for one, except for we only get one faceplate for the Super Saiyan God. Now, what is the US MSRP on this bad boy? Or bad man. We're looking at about $59.99, plus or minus shipping and handling. So, yeah, he's going to be a little expensive, but do take note, web exclusive, one production run, and done. Get him while he lasts. So we've taken a nice, long 360 spin view of the box, and if you peep the bottom left hand corner of the screen, I feel dirty for saying peep, you'll continue to see that 360 spin view if you want. So the front of the box, we have a nice window display where we can see Vegeta, we can see an alternate faceplate, some of the hands, and that Super Saiyan God head sculpt, pretty cool. We do continue the overall manga style guide for the Dragon Ball figure arts, which is pretty neat. On the back of the box, we just have some promotional shots of Vegeta, Vegeta, which include one shot of the Super Saiyan God head sculpt. We also have a nice shot of Vegeta in his classic battle pose. So yes, we finally get the hands in one release to recreate that pose, which is nice because it's appropriate because Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta actually did do that at the end of Super Spoilers for those of you who have not yet seen it. Oh well, it's been out for a long time. And on the top and the bottom of the sides of the box, it is the standard fare, nothing too impressive. So with that out of the way, let me make some final adjustments here. Last up to focus in to make sure we are all hunky-dory. And now let's get on to opening up Vegeta here. Here we go. So let's go ahead and open him up. I always prefer to open it up on the side without the continuation of that window. Just so this way I don't stress the plastic. All righty. Oh, it's a crease. Oh, well. There's Vegeta. Uh, we just have the instructions here, which is interesting enough. Like, they didn't include a little leaflet or whatnot to say, like, hey, you can go uh, Broly and whatnot, and Gogeta and Goku coming out. Here's everything interchangeable. <gasps> Warning, may rub off. Yeah, folded arm parts, even though it's like a classic thing for Vegeta, I honestly don't really care for it. Now, one of the things that's been rather concerning is the uh, Super Saiyan God faceplate has uh, not been looking so hot in some pictures. Um, I'm hoping that's just the pictures. But taking a look at it right now, it's kind of... Yeah, it looks like the peach-ish outline for the Vegeta faces is kind of meh. All right. Oh, all right. So let's go ahead and open up the... Uh, top of the tray here first we're going to go ahead and take a look at the alternate face plates because why not so we'll take a look at the super saiyan blue face plates first so here's one with vegeta yelling pretty nice the back it is so this is all painted so do keep that in mind here's one where he's gritting his teeth pretty neat and then, 
the smirking face, which, eh, it's okay. Nothing over the top. Got a little mark on mine. Some flashing in the hair. And, uh, by the way, that's possible. Okay. So there's that. All righty. So now with that out of the way, focus in a little bit here. Let's take a look at Vegeta proper. Maybe, may, <laughs> maybe if I can get him out the box. All right, there we go. So uh, for protective plastic, we just have this little bit around the ab crunch. All right, so this one is a little stiff. This one's a little loose. Oh, real tight here. Oh, hear that crack? And mold flashing. He's got glitter. I don't know if you can see that right there. I'll zoom in before we're done here. Uh, let's take a look at the neck peg real quick. I don't have another Vegeta handy right now. Whoops, hit the camera. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he can swap heads. We'll see. So this is not the full-on review. Um, that will come soon. This is just the unboxing to get initial impressions. So he's got a butterfly. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so he's got a butterfly hinge, but you're going to have to really work that. <laughs> Ooh, that's weird. So I'm pushing him down a little bit on that ab crunch, and you can kind of see it probably from this angle, but it looks like that's beginning to separate that seam. All right, so really far down. That's pretty good. Nestle him back. You can see imprints of the hair on my hand. Okay, so I'm liking this Vegeta so far. He's not hes not the best, I would say. I'm, I'm still liking Super Vegeta or uh, the Super Saiyan Renewal because that's actually what it is. It's not Super Vegeta. Um, a bit more than this one, but uh, I don't know. Maybe he'll grow on me. So let's go ahead and zoom in <laughs> on that uh, glitter he's got on his neck there. Anyway. That's about it for the unboxing. Like I said, the review will be coming soon. So please subscribe so this way you know when that goes up. And it will be going up shortly because I really want to review this guy. I think I can have some fun with uh, with that particular review. All right. All right, everyone. Thank you again so, so much for watching. And thank you so much to the patrons for the month of June. Y'all have been helping out so much, and it really does mean a lot. We're going to get a new tripod this month because mine's not been doing so well. I actually did get a replacement for my main one, and that's... Uh, yeah, I had to go back to my original. Yeah. So thank you so much for helping out the channel and keeping it going. So now we're going to have the end card pop up on the screen where you can uh, click some stuff in the meantime while you're waiting for the review to go up. Maybe another review. Maybe you can subscribe if you aren't already. Teespring store. What else? All right, everyone. Thank you again. And I'll catch you in the next video.